In this video, we're going to look at another website that you can use to find and download music for your digital story. And this is a website called Jamendo, J-A-M-E-N-D-O.com. And this is one of those websites where you have to have an account in order to download music. If you don't log in with an account and you go to download music, it says, sorry, you need to be logged in. So you can see over here that I am logged in. Uh, if you click on the home button, then if you are, let's see, I was thinking it's probably not showing me because I'm logged in. So let me do that. I've logged out now and here we go. Now I can see create an account or log in. So if you click log in, you can log in with a Facebook account or a Google account, or you can create your own account on Jamendo and log in. And one of the problems with this website is I've noticed is that sometimes it logs you in immediately and other times it takes a few minutes uh, for you to be able to get in. Okay, so uh, I would recommend that you create a new account. Uh, I've had problems with logging in with my Google credentials. Uh, you might have better luck, but if you run into any problems, just create a new account uh, if you're interested in using this site. Anyway, there's a search uh, feature up at the top left, and I'm going to uh, put in Piano Instrumental, and you can see that it gives me a number of artists. I can click for more artists. It gives me a number of songs. I can click for more tracks, and let's do that. The One of the quirky things about um, Jamendo is that when you um, find something that you're interested in, you have to really go through a number of steps in order to decide whether you like it or not. So I'm just going to pick one at random. Sometimes you can tell by looking at thumbnails or looking at names. Like I'm pretty sure that electric shock can kill you is probably not something I'm interested in. So I'm going to go over here to Piano Forte at today instead. And let's see. Well, I don't like that as much as I wish I would, but I don't. I also can see now that this is one minute and 10 seconds long. So before I even look at the Creative Commons license for this information, uh, for this piece of music, I, I don't really care for it. So I'm going to try a different one. I'll come over here to this one. I like that one better, um, but I also noticed that this one is 1 minute and 51 seconds. So if you're interested in uh, using a piece of music throughout an entire digital story and your story is 4 or 5, 6 minutes long, then uh, a 1 minute and 51 second piece of music probably is not going to be the best choice. Uh, let's pick another one. like that one, but that one's 59 seconds long. So uh, one option that you have is you might just play it and then have it fade out right before the end and then have it fade in again and repeat. Uh, and since it's background music, if you find one you really like and it's short, uh, you could think about doing something like that. The other thing you could think about is uh, looking for one that's a little bit longer. But you do have to have some patience because uh, you've got to first listen to it to see whether it's something that you like. And let's see what's happening here. OK, let's turn that one off and go to this one. Sorry, no page here. So there are some quirks with this website. There's no doubt about it. Let's try another one. Let's try this one. Now this one is 7 minutes and 15 seconds long. So if I decide I like this one, then um, what I need to do, now it has a lot of them with the same name, and I'm not exactly sure which one I clicked on. So let's go to uh, the first one. 12 minutes and 26 seconds. I'll try and remember which one I'm at this time. That's the one I was at. 7.15. Okay, so I kind of like that. So I'm going to, and remember this is just background music, so it doesn't have to be, you're looking more for something that's going to fit the mood of your 
narration, um, but we want to see what kind of license it has. So I'm going to click on the name here, and after a few seconds, it will give me the Creative Commons uh, license information. And if I click on it, it's a CCND. And we've already decided that ND is not a good uh, license for you to deal with because no derivatives means that you're not really allowed to shorten a seven minute piece of music to five minutes if and fade it out before it's complete. The ND means that uh, you have to use it in its original format. So that's not really a good choice for you. So let's try one more. We'll go back to another piece of music. See if we can find one that we both like. I don't think that's it. Let's try this one here then. All right, this one is three minutes and 39 seconds. So if it's does not, if it has a Creative Commons license that allows us to make changes to it, we could do this one twice if we decide we liked it. It's pretty low on the volume. Let's see if I can raise it a little bit. Okay, let's say I could work with that and it's going to work. Which one? This is Piano Fan, this one here. So let me click on the name and see what kind of Creative Commons license it has. It's share alike, non-commercial, uh, attribution, BY. So this one would work. This one would be fine for us. We could do it twice uh, within the digital story, maybe have it fade out before it ends completely the first time and then have it fade in again when you are ready to, to play it one more time. And if you um, could work with a program like Audacity uh, to edit that, it would be seamless and uh, would sound just fine. So we're going to click on the free download option and we can see that, um, that there are two versions here. Um, there is a free version, um, MP3 quality. Uh, for personal use, and your digital story would be personal. Uh, and there's also a high quality audio file that you have to pay for. Uh, we don't care about uh, that. The quality is just going to be fine here. So we click on it. It asks you whether you want to save the file. And if so, if you click OK, it'll be, it'll save it to the location of your choice. And you're done. So that's Gemendo. Uh, it's gone through some changes over the years. I've been using Gemendo for a long time, and uh, they've changed their licensing format and uh, their web interface. And again, sometimes the, the web site can be a little slow. It can be a little quirky when you try to log in. Uh, but uh, it has a lot of interesting pieces of music on it, so it's one that I recommend that you try out and see if you can find music that you like for your digital story.